In today's episode, Elon Musk's supercomputer obsession takes Grok to new heights. The Tesla bot faces a setback, Cybercab's engineering details come out, and the Cybertruck gets a furry twist. Will Elon Musk ever stop building supercomputers? It doesn't seem like it. Elon responded to reports about XAI expanding its Colossus data center in Memphis, saying they aim for at least 1 billion NVIDIA GPUs, not just 1 million as reported. He also mentioned the Kardashev scale, saying they're trying to achieve just 1% of a Type 1 civilization. If you're wondering, a Type 1 civilization can use all the energy available on their planet. In simple terms, Elon believes Colossus could someday use 1% of Earth's total energy. Elon Musk often talks about the Kardashev scale, which measures how advanced a civilization is based on its energy use. He explains that a Type 1 civilization uses all the energy available on its planet, including sunlight and heat from its core, an enormous amount. Elon thinks any serious civilization should aim for Type 2, which would mean harnessing all the energy of their star. Right now, he says, we're at less than 5% of Type 1. To reach 30%, Elon suggests covering deserts and other sunny areas with solar panels. Pretty ambitious, right? By the way, Elon has mentioned the Kardashev scale at least 13 times since February, showing how much he's focused on this idea lately. But back to what XAI is working on with all this energy. Grok AI, their super intelligent system, just got another big upgrade. It now creates images much better than before, thanks to XAI's new image model. The company shared the news in a blog post, showing how Grok is evolving fast. We've made Grok even better at creating images with a new model called Aurora. Aurora is a smart system designed to learn from both text and images, trained using billions of examples from the internet. This helps it understand the world in great detail and create realistic images that follow instructions exactly. Aurora isn't just about making images from scratch, it can also work with existing images. You can give it an image for inspiration or even ask it to edit something directly. This means Grok can now handle tasks like drawing the Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, Cybercab, and even Optimus, all with stunning photorealism. Before this upgrade, Grok relied on a model called Flux, which was developed by another company, Black Forest Labs. But now, Grok uses its own powerful Aurora model, built and trained entirely by XAI. This new model makes Grok better than ever at both writing text and creating amazing images, giving it more creative freedom and better results for users. The Colossus infrastructure is truly groundbreaking. Grok can now do more than just create images. It can understand them too. Elon Musk confirmed that you can upload almost anything, like a phone picture of your blood test results, an MRI, or an X-ray, and Grok will analyze it for you. For example, tech expert Robert Scoble discovered that Grok can analyze a photo of a surgical incision and provide insights about whether the wound is healing properly. That's pretty amazing. Here's another exciting part. Grok is now free to use in many regions, offering up to 10 questions every two hours and allowing three image uploads per day. However, if you want full access to all of Grok's features, it's still exclusive to X Premium subscribers. This level of innovation really showcases Tesla and XAI's commitment to pushing the boundaries of technology. It's a reminder that cutting edge advancements aren't just for big companies, they can improve our everyday lives too. Speaking of innovation, let's talk about today's sponsor, Exter. They're redefining everyday essentials with ultra slim, stylish wallets that are designed for both style and functionality. One of their coolest features is a quick access system that makes grabbing your card super easy. The Exter wallet is a game changer for everyday convenience. With its clever access card system, a single button press pops out your card, ready to use. It's perfect for when you're in a hurry or just want to keep things simple. What really sets it apart is the RFID blocking technology, which protects your cards from wireless theft. 
with more people using contactless payments, having that extra layer of security is more important than ever. But here's the feature I love most, Exter's Wallet Trackers. They offer a tracker for iOS that links to Apple's Find My app and a solar-powered tracker for Android. If you lose your wallet, no worries. Just two hours of sunlight powers three months of tracking. Whether your wallet is stuck in the couch or forgotten at a cafe, you'll always be able to find it. This holiday season, Exter's offering an incredible 55% off during their Christmas sale when you use my code TESLASPACE. It's a great time to grab one for yourself or as a thoughtful gift. Check the link in the description for all the details. Now, back to the video. Tesla has just shared a new clip of Optimus, their robot, roaming the hillsides of Silicon Valley. What could he be up to next? Watching Optimus tackle steep hills is seriously impressive, especially considering how rough the terrain is. But the best part? Near the end of the clip, Optimus slips on loose dirt in a garden, yet somehow manages to stay upright. Honestly, most of us would have hit the ground in that situation. Milan Kovac, Tesla's VP of Optimus AI, shared some cool insights about the clip. He explained that the runs were done on mulched ground, which is so tricky that even he's slipped there before. What's mind-blowing is that Optimus was actually blind during these tests. It balanced itself without any video input, relying only on other onboard sensors, controlled by a neural net running in just two to three milliseconds on its embedded computer. But there's more exciting stuff ahead. The team is working on adding vision capabilities to help Optimus plan better, move more naturally on rough terrain, and respond more smoothly to speed and direction changes. They're also teaching it how to fall safely and get back up if needed skills that are essential for a robot designed to work in unpredictable environments. Julian Evers, senior manager of Optimus AI, summed it up well. Tesla's goal is to have thousands of robots doing useful tasks. If you're excited about this progress, they're actively recruiting for their team to push these advancements even further. By the end of 2025, Tesla is aiming to make big strides with their Optimus robot and CyberCab. Recently, Elon Musk shared some updates about Optimus's price and production. Optimus is a highly advanced robot, and getting its cost down to $20,000 will be extremely challenging. However, Elon is confident it will eventually happen, but only after production exceeds 1 million units per year. He also mentioned that price will depend on demand but should eventually stabilize at around $20,000. Tesla has also been showing off its CyberCab across the US and even shipped one to Europe. Recently, a Tesla showroom in London hosted an event where the CyberCab was featured, and Tesla's lead engineer for the project, Eric E., shared some key insights. Interestingly, Eric has managed to keep his full name a secret, which adds a bit of mystery. One of the main design decisions for the CyberCab is its two-seat configuration. Eric explained that 82% of ride-hailing trips involve only two riders or fewer, making this design highly practical. The CyberCab is not just efficient in energy use. It's designed with autonomous fleet operations in mind. For example, its streamlined interior has fewer pockets or tight spaces, making it easier to clean and maintain. This is especially useful for services that rely on quick turnovers. Another focus is the tires, which are one of the key maintenance needs for the CyberCab. The team is working to ensure the tires can last at least 60,000 miles before needing replacement, which is great for reducing long-term costs. Tesla's CyberCab is packed with unique features, including its butterfly doors, which make getting in and out of the car much easier. If you're unfamiliar with terms like ingress and egress, they refer to how smoothly people can enter and exit a vehicle. Thanks to the butterfly door design, Tesla engineers could move the B-pillar further back, creating more space and improving accessibility. The CyberCab's trunk is surprisingly spacious, capable of holding two full-size carry-ons and two full-size check-in bags at the same time.
Foldable wheelchairs can also fit comfortably. Inside, there's a 21-inch screen with the same high resolution as Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y. One of Tesla's goals is to make the CyberCab affordable to produce. Eric, Tesla's lead engineer, confirmed that it will have half the parts of a Model 3 and 60% fewer components in its body structure compared to the Model Y production, is streamlined further by requiring half as many workers, not even including the help of the Optimus robot, thanks to the unbox process and increased automation. Thanks for tuning in. Tesla never fails to push boundaries, from the innovative cyber cab to the unique bear truck. Whether it's groundbreaking technology or bold design choices, there's always something exciting happening. What do you think of Tesla's latest creations? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on Tesla and the future of tech. See you next time.